I, um, I cannot remember where to go. What was I gonna say? Oh, right. So, I've beaten every Halo game on Legendary single player. Yes. And it's very I rewarding. I played one and two. Very, very rewarding. Very, very difficult. Are you but here's me? the thing. Why isn't it balanced? And that's what frustrates me. Yeah. I would rather have more enemies kicking my ass than the same enemies being overpowered. More if, enemies that are the same strength as exactly. they were before. Yeah. Make it hard. I agree. Don't make it cheap. If an elite can punch me in the face through my Mjolnir armor and I just die in one hit, that sucks, okay? Because I can hit him twice to knock his shield off and then three more times to kill him. Like, that's, that's not fair. That's just lame. Okay? Yeah. I think Destiny does a pretty good job of doing this. Um, for example, in Destiny, they have shields, but they don't scale their health based on difficulty. They scale it based on what level you are versus yeah. the level of the characters. It's and based on like how much fine. like damage you can do or penetration you can do to actually hit them but and do damage. You can see Bungie's roots now here, there. Actually, I want to ask you something, because you've actually played through the real game, and I, I've only played like Child and stuff. And those those caves and stuff when you're um when you're on like Russia I guess and you go to oh, those Russia. caves where there are like enemies that are question marks because you can't determine like how they're just high they level are. yeah that's so it. you just so you, they're like just because you're low level yeah okay. and that's a little silly so you can fight them once you get up to like yeah twenty and so. but if if you see question marks just run in the same way you can't even damage yeah yeah yeah, guys, yeah no, which is funny because I ran up to them with like a couple rocket launchers and tried to kill them nothing happened yeah nothing. they just killed me. You can see Bungie's roots, though, in heroic mode, where they... Here's... There's two examples of good and bad hard mode. Good hard mode is, in easy mode, enemies flinch a lot. So you, you hit them with a large yes. amount of damage in one hit, and they, like, fall backwards, and they, like, fall off their shield, and, and you, then you, you get a chance to kill them. In, in good hard mode, that doesn't happen. So they're not going to flinch no matter what, and that's great. Or they're going to rush you more often, or they're going to be more... Um, brazen with their attacks. That's awesome. I love that. Lame hard mode is when I turn on hard mode and all of a sudden every enemy's melee attacks kill me instantly. So I can't get close to any enemy to do panic damage. Right. That's lame. I don't like that. That just doesn't seem fair. Why Why are they suddenly overpowered that way? Like, if they made it fair where I can kill anybody oh, else in on. one hit, that's fine. I want to play more Destiny. Um, I, I like. I really wish I could just go out and buy it, but I kind of don't want to until I get my PS4. Cause I don't like. I, I have characters on PS3, but it was just through the free download and stuff. So I don't really want to like invest in it and then have to buy it again later. Um, what the hell? <laughs> okay, so this is the this is the reason why I hate this game, and I didn't notice it as much when I was a kid because I didn't understand how games work. But this game runs on, like, trigger events. Mm -hmm. So you have to, like, before you can get something to happen, you have to do something else. And by what I mean by that is you have to, like, hit a certain location. So, see, like, I was running around this whole area, but nothing happens until I go into that, that room and then leave. <laughs> I don't even have to talk to the guy. There's nothing I have to do. I just have to go out into the town fight some guys, come back, fight some guys here that aren't normally here, go into that shop, come out, and then this happens. <laughs> I... And there's Squall from Final Fantasy VIII. I can't think of another game where this has happened, <clears throat> but that does bug me. I think Pokemon Coliseum did it a little bit too, where you have to complete a sequence of events, you can't just skip the sequence. And I'm just like... I wonder if that's lazy game development. It's not lazy game development. It's um, it's an aspect of game design in order to give you the f the sense of freedom, but still being able to control your actions. Mm -hmm. And there are better ways to do it, but sometimes it just doesn't work that way. And sometimes it's just programmed badly. You know, like this game is notoriously bad for certain certain levels. Um, specifically freaking uh, Deep Jungle, which is the Tarzan level, is really bad. It's awful. 
Come on, I need to beat him. This is actually a really hard fight if you don't like grind and get and get good. Ugh. Oh, I got it. Correct. Um, <clears throat> key to the face. Key to the face. That's a fight that you can lose and then you you keep going because you're supposed to lose technically. I, you can win. There are games again where I'm just I'm blanking on which ones they are, but there are games where they make it impossible to beat a boss. Mm -hmm. She is so underdressed. They make it impossible to beat a boss, but they kind of let you try. Yeah. Mega Man Zero is a great one. I finally yes. thought of it. Final. Mega Man Zero, you can't win that first boss fight, but you can try. <laughs> and you know what's a big shame? And eager up to explain why you can't beat him. Like, why you're not supposed to be able to beat him during that in Mega Man X. But in the Mega Man X remake for PSP, mm -hmm. you can beat him. <laughs> they, add, they put that in the game. <laughs> So See, it kind of fair, ruins you know? the whole point. <laughs> like, the first time you play through a game, you're always going to lose because you don't know the boss's strategy. Yeah. But, like, if you've played it 15 times, you know the strategy, you know which keyframes to literally attack in, you should be able to beat him, just for fun. I suppose, but it, like, it's literally part of the story, like, that you lose that fight. Like, if, if, you, if you were to start X from scratch and play through that first level and then beat Vile, like... But he doesn't... What? Like, why would you go to all the other stages? Like, just go kill Sigma. <laughs> just do it. Touche. Just I, chase Val down and take out I Sigma. I can't even argue that. Touche. That that makes sense. Fine. Erg. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I destroyed Vile in my mind, because yes. I, I really did a good job of beating him. If you just dash jump over him and shoot him a lot... Yeah, theoretically, it's, you should easily be able to beat him. But... Story wise, like it's just not, it shouldn't be part of the game. You, you're supposed to lose there. X is supposed to get his ass beat, and Zero is supposed to save you. I love Mega Man X. I replay Mega Man X. <laughs> Last time I did it was a couple years ago. I did it for Extra Life. Me and James raced playing it. And he beat him. I was, we were both at Sigma, and he won. He got there a little bit before me, but he was having a lot of trouble beating him. So I was able to catch up, and then he'd still be he'd be him before I could finish him off. Good race, though. I wish I still had it recorded. Alright. After this cutscene, we'll save, and then we'll switch to Smash. Or... Play Smash for a little bit. Oh, these cutscenes just... They've aged so badly. <laughs> this game has aged so badly. But you can't even play the PS2 one anymore. This one's still not. bad, but they improved it enough that you could play it. The PS2 one is just... Like, after you play Kingdom Hearts 2, you can't go back. It's so... It's like... For me, it's like Mass Effect 2. Some people still like Mass Effect 1 a lot, but yeah. I really found it hard to play Mass Effect 1 after 2. Interesting. Because it was so much better. Sure. It was just so much better designed. It felt better to play. And that's usually what I'm talking about. I don't mean, like, the game itself. It's just the feeling. Like, um, Assassin's Creed is another example. One was great when you first played it when it first came out, but as soon as two came out, one was a piece of crap. Like, one literally <laughs> was like, nope. an awful game. I would never play one again. What the heck? Did he upgrade it, or did he take it away? He took it. The Keyblade chooses its real mm -hmm. Curious. It's got the Mickey thing on it, but nobody even told him why that is. No. Of course. Who is she? That's Eris from Homeless 7. And why is she here? They're all here because their world was destroyed <coughs> and by the Heartless. to our world? This, okay. is, this, is our, this is our world. This is Traverse Town. That's it's, kind it's of its own world. They escaped. The whole, point of, the whole point of the universe in this game is that Every, like, land is its own planet, basically. So there's Destiny Islands, there's Traverse Town, there's Disney Castle, there's Deep Jungle, there's Agrabah, there's the, Co the Olympic Coliseum, there's Halloween Town, Neverlands. All these are planets. Uh, okay. They're planets. The Heartless are going from their source, which is in Hollow Bastion, which is where all of the Final Fantasy characters are from, and they're taking over all these planets because the keyhole are on the map. The keyholes are like the pathways between planets. Mm -hmm. So, 
they're gonna send Sora on this quest to go unlock all the keyholes to save them from the Heartless. So that's why you have to go to every world and search for the keyhole and lock it with the keyboard. And you join Donald and Goofy already party. And there's also a party member from each world that you join. So like, if you go to Agrabah, you can have a lad and join a party. Or Halloween Town, Jack Salington, stuff like that. The Heartless are the opposite of light. They're darkness. And they come from inside Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is a door that holds darkness inside of it. Kingdom Hearts is a door? Yes. It's a place. It's all it's all the darkness. And then the villain of the game, which you don't even meet until the very end, which is a bad writing thing. Um he wants he wants to like take Kingdom Hearts. He wants he wants it for himself. Because he's evil.